forward WIP goggles long-term review. So I've had these for, I don't know, probably well over a year, maybe a year and a half. And I went through three lenses. I basically lose them all the time in a big swell during crashes and wipeouts. For the past few weeks, I had to ride sunglasses instead of goggles, and I just cannot stand sunglasses. When you experience goggles, like the amount of uh, protection compared to even like uh, lip typhoon sunglasses, pretty good sunglasses, it's uncomparable. Uh, goggles are much better protection than sunglasses. It's like when you ride in sunglasses after goggles, you feel like you're wearing nothing. It's like all the wind and splashes and all the stuff goes into your eyes. And, and after the session, basically your eyes are super red. It only protects from UV, the sunglasses. They don't protect from any other factors. I've had these for a very long time. You can see they're pretty beaten up. And I think the main concern, what's, what happens with them over time, is the frame get too loose, too stretchy, and uh, lens starts falling off in a like uh, minor, not minor, big wipeouts. But once you lose the lens, basically it's gone. It's not floating. M mask itself will float, but if the lens fall off, yeah, it's gonna be gone. And after all this time, I had to glue it a few times uh, here and. The electric tape is to prevent Velcro on my helmet from fluffing out the strap itself. And so after three lenses I went and tried to get a replacement lens and it appears that they quietly upgraded the goggles itself. So now this is a new version. From At first it looks like similar but not really. So they are at least 10% bigger. Just to distinguish between old and new one, they come with this massive white WIP rubberish sign. The old one, they don't come with anything like that. Just like this, WIP. The strap itself is much wider now. And uh, the internal silicon non-slip layers, this one has this structure and the new one has just three straight lines. But the new one comes with your blue lens and yellow one, where the old one came with blue and clear. So clear never gets used, pretty much, I don't know why they even put it. This one might be used, I don't know, I'll try. Very flexy, comparing to the old one, I think it's very flexy lenses. I'm not sure if it's just this one or that one too, I haven't taken it out. If you put the new lens into old mask, you can see how much bigger the overall size is. So I would say 10%, uh, 10, 12% bigger than the original one. I'd now had issues with like, seeing the frame with an old one, but now it's gonna be even better. It's, after all of these sessions, yeah, you can see the, how much tear and wear they got. And the biggest concern, like I mentioned, the fallen off lens, and it's due to these eyelets, the way they hold the lens. And the frame gets soft over time, soft termin, the plastic. It's a quiet update. There is no announcement on WAP, nothing like it's a new version or anything like that. You see the amount of uh, this padding protection is a little bit, bit, a little bit more than here. Like on average, everything is well, like 10% bigger now, including the strap. Strap is 10% wider on this one. And it looks much nicer, I would say. The lens connection system looks very similar. This one much harder to open. Okay. Yeah, the other one seems flimsy. You can easily open the these ears, the hole basically. And if you can see the eyelets that hold the lens, I don't know, but I think they're a little bit different. Beefier plastic for sure. The lens might not fall off in the big wipeouts. Well done, WIP. And yeah, different material color for the for this foam, like non-absorbing water foam. You can see over time these things they just got 
it's too loose, way too loose. That's why the lens falls off. The new one seems beefier plastic. Yeah, they seem they seem pretty nice. It should work well. I'm not sure you can improve much. I think it's gonna be a pretty nice upgrade. And yeah, again, if you're wearing sunglasses and you try goggles, it's uncomparable. No matter what sunglasses, uh, lip, Typhoon, whatever it is, the best one you have, it's not comparable to goggles. A long time ago I made an uh, initial review when I was still learning to wing foil. My biggest complaint was that uh, they take in water and then when you come out after the crash it takes like two seconds for the mask to drain. But if you are not a learner and you already up and running, this is the one to get. Yeah, it's so nice. And another tip is, so goggles is one thing, and as long as you cover your eyes and ears, it's like you can be in the water twice as long. The ears and eyes, once you cover, you just, you don't get as tired so quick. You'll be surprised how much longer you can stay and more comfortable, more enjoyable overall. Yeah, ears and eyes. I've tried to use the earpieces that come with this uh, forward WAP helmet. They are too rough and don't conform to the ear and pretty much useless. I tried them once, took them off, never put them again. They are capped with the ears, much better. Surf cap with the ears, you can see this one has been through a lot already. Yeah, it has holes and stuff, all rusty. The way I do it is so you put, first you put the cap on, then I put a piece of Velcro strap and helmet. It just cut any piece of Velcro, basically, to grab the goggles. And the reason you need electric tape is because once you hook it up with the Velcro, if you don't have electric tape, it's gonna fluff out. Every time you touch the strap, it's gonna fluff out little bit by little bit, and yeah, it's gonna be all mess. This one, I'm gonna put electric tape in a, in a second, but basically for now, I will do it like. Basically lock it somewhere there, more tighter. Lock the helmet, tie the goggles. Yeah, and this is like super comfy and the field of view is insane. It's more enjoyable in goggles than without goggles right now. Right now it's sunny outside. It's very nice. Wow, impressed. Very nice upgrade, WIP. Well done. Just came back from the session and to show how much the coating works, as they call it. So you can see a bunch of dots. It was muddy ocean today after the rain, but not too bad. Yeah, so that's how it looks from the inside. If you look through the lens, I don't know if you can see all the smog, white stuff. There is quite a bit, but uh, yeah, it's, didn't, notice it, didn't notice any issues with visibility. It does fog up the same as the previous one in cold weather. And yeah, not much you can do. Basically, you just need to get up and ride, maybe one minute on each side. And then when the wind blows in each side, it kind of clears itself. But if you're stuck and it's cold and you're waiting for the wind, yeah, it's gonna fog up pretty badly. To the point where you might need to kind of like rinse it, go underwater, rinse it. That's the only negative. All the rest is pretty nice. Yeah, like I, uh, today was the first session. No issues. Uh, visibility is even better than before. Wider n n frame is not visible. To wash the lens, you have to take it out from the frame. Otherwise, there is no way to properly wash it. So to take it out, you just lift the frame. It's the same as previous one. Oh, this one much harder. Oh well. Okay, so you lift the frame. And then it kind of comes out of these pockets on the sides. Yeah, the other one would already snapped out. This one much harder. Okay. So I guess it's going to be way better retention in the big crashes. And the nose piece has notches as well. 
Okay, so this is a lens. Okay, it's the same material as the previous one. Yeah, it just the yellow one seems way flimsier, like thinner, maybe half thinner than this one. But this one pretty sturdy. And to wash just warm water, now it's cold, but whatever water you have, and some soap. Put it in your hands, rub it in your mask. both sides and rinse it. And the same with the frame. Let it dry, don't touch it yeah. And it's the same for the frame, it's just gonna drip and dry. These pieces on a new mask much sturdier. The area of this hooks on the sides as well, bigger and beefier. In the morning the lens and the mask dried out, it's okay to assemble. Uh, as you can see there's just a few spots like from cleaning, don't wipe them first, first install and then wipe all together. So to install, basically hold here, lock on nose notches first, there are two notches on each side. Yeah, make sure, don't rush and always make sure they lock, otherwise there is chance to lose a mask. Then lock each side, you have to basically press with a finger on top of the lens, otherwise it won't come in. So you check always corners, nose pieces, that it's aligned and locked in the notch. And the same on this side. These two things and the top. Basically, it should be no gaps. I just finished a session and I was in the water for like a good hour plus. And you can't even tell I was next to the ocean. There is nothing in my eyes, no yellowish, reddish stuff, nothing. If I were to wear these lips, Typhoon, they are very nice sunglasses all around there, but the amount of protection is not comparable to the goggles. These are very nice, but if I wore these, like my eyes would be yellow, red. It does protect from UV for sure, pretty good. But all other factors like wind and splashes, it doesn't do much. And they do get more spots because the surface area is smaller. Because goggles area is much larger, the brain makes up the picture much better versus these ones. Yeah, these ones, they get kind of like dirty quickly, especially if you get easily seasick. Yeah, in these ones, you might start getting, you might start feeling dizzy. Never had that problem with goggles. Yeah, no matter how many spots I get, I don't get dizzy in those because the area is so much larger. So the brain makes up the picture pretty clearly.